What's up folks? Uh, got another little homebrew video for you. Uh, been meaning to do this for a while and actually I had done a video on this subject not too long ago and uh, come across a better product so uh, I'm glad I never posted it and that way I can compare the two but uh, if you're a home brewer um, after you brew your beer you have uh, a couple of options you know uh, on what you're going to do with your beer. You can either bottle it or keg it and uh, when I first started brewing, you know, I'd, I'd done the old Mr. Beer kit, and uh, I bottled maybe two or three batches. I really don't even remember. I used the PET bottles, the big plastic bottles that came with the Mr. Mr. Beer kit once, and uh, I had a bunch of glass bottles, and uh, I'd done the bottling for maybe like a two-gallon batch a couple of times. And I learned real quick that bottling was not for me. Uh, some people don't have a problem with it. Some people enjoy it, but I hated it. It's a pain in the ass. And... Uh, Especially when I moved to five gallon batches, I could not see myself washing, sanitizing, bottling, and capping 50 plus bottles when I, uh, after a long brew day. So um, it's just not me, but you know, if you bottle, that's fine. I'm not cracking on bottling. But um, you know, I moved to kegging, and I surely have seen my kegging videos or whatever and know that I, I have a kegerator. But even though I do keg, and most people that do keg still want to bottle some beers from time to time for, you know, taking. Uh, to parties or giving to friends or sending off to competitions or just you know putting some back for whatever reason. So uh, when you bottle from a keg you have a few different options and uh, you know they make uh, counter pressure fillers I guess is what they're called or bottling wand, bottling guns. Uh, I can't remember the brand names of some of the commercial stuff right now but uh, from what I've heard they're pretty expensive. I've never actually even checked on buying one. Um, never used one so I can't give any input on it but from what I've read and and you know seen on the forums and stuff that they are expensive and they're they can be a little hard to use so uh, <clears throat> when I got ready to bottle um, of course homebrewtalk.com shout out uh, where I get most of my ideas I don't I don't have a lot of original stuff myself but I do copy a lot of guys over there because they have some great ideas um, when I got ready to bottle, obviously I wanted to bottle some beer from my keg, so uh, I followed some other guys' uh, leads on some of these things and did this, which is what I was using to bottle my beers from my keg, which was a length of tubing, a connector for the uh, outside of the keg, you know, the keg post that snaps over there, and just a party tap. And I had an old uh, racking cane that I cut off the end of it that I didn't use anymore. Put a number two stopper I believe that is on there and this little thing I'll explain a little further here in the in a minute. Uh, basically just let me just go ahead and set this down and maybe I can do this without making this video too much of a mess in this part of it. Uh, I just slid that old bottling wand up in there and basically we'll just stick that down into the bottle and uh, use the stopper you know and fill the bottles from the keg using this little system and it worked okay but it's still a pain in the butt <clears throat> it's hard to keep it clean uh, with the clamps you know you have to clamp up everything so if you want to clean the inside of this obviously you can't get the beer out of here without cutting the the tubing off and draining everything and sanitizing and cleaning which isn't a big deal I usually just left this in the kegerator and uh, would sanitize the ends of it and the one when I got ready to use it <clears throat> but it would <coughs> excuse me it was still a pain in the butt to uh, you know get in there and and get on your uh, keg that you was wanting to bottle on and have that hanging out of the keg and uh, trying to fill with that it, it, like I say it wasn't bad but um, someone has come up with a much better what I'm hoping I'm not used it yet well but what I'm hoping is a much better option for bottling from a keg so I am moving away from this option if this new option works and I don't see why it won't because of the comments I've already seen uh, to the option that I'm about to show you okay uh, <clears throat> props again to homebrewtalk.com and the folks over there because one of the users over there his name is uh, I think you pronounce it Bowie. Uh, Bowie Fan uh, is his username over at Homebrew Talk. 
And I'll put links to all this in the more info section down below so you can check it out and find him if you want to order one of these. But what Bowie fan did was, uh, I guess I'm, I've never, you know, read all of his posts. I'm assuming he's a machinist by hobby or by profession or whatever. And he took these <clears throat> little inserts and milled them down using a lathe, a little stainless steel insert. And these are to be used on Perlick faucets, uh, 525s and 575s. Uh, I think he can also do them for 425s uh, Perlick faucets. And I have four, I have 525s, so this will work for me. And uh, basically, what's going to happen is, it's got some you know o-rings in here recessed where he's milled them down and these will get inserted into the faucet as far as they can go and there'll be tubing coming off this that goes to a bottling wand which uh, as you can see i haven't assembled yet but buoy fan sells these and they come with what you see here and a very nice set of detailed instructions uh, he goes through the whole thing you know what to do and how to do it and uh Real nice product, nice documentation, and he did a real good job with it. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was 15 bucks uh, with a couple of dollars shipping, which is not bad price at all, I don't think. Uh, to complement that, another user on Homebrew Talk was selling this, which is the bottling wand with a number two stopper and a little length of uh, tubing. And basically what we'll do is heat up the end of this tubing with some boiling water or if I can get my tap water hot enough and slide this insert up in there and that'll complete my little bottling wand. Uh, the username that sells these and I don't know how to even go about, about I don't know how to go about pronouncing it so I'm gonna I'll put it like down in the more info section. I the Iron RZT. There you go. I don't, I don't know. Sorry man if I killed your uh, username but I couldn't pronounce it so what I'm gonna do is get this thing assembled like I say you can tell I, I just have gotten it well I actually have had it several days and just now get an opportunity to use it uh, I've already done a modification uh, that I actually used was talking about on my old older bottling little system there and what I did was took the smallest the way this would normally work is you would slide this down into a bottle and as the bottle fills up, you know, obviously pressure is, is building up inside the bottle. You would squeeze this a little bit or kind of push it in. Uh, tell you what, let me put this uh, camera down and grab a bottle and just show you. Okay, here's a little 12 ounce bottle. And basically what you'll do is you'll insert the bottling one until the stopper goes into the bottle. Get it nice and tight. And then you'll open your tap. And start filling the bottle as obviously as the pressure increases you let the foam die down and, and let it pressurize and then you start burping this thing a little bit which you just kind of squeeze it or move it around a little bit to let some of the air out which will continue uh, allow you to continue filling you know the bottle but I had seen this I think again on homebrew talk I, I didn't go back and try to find a thread on it but um, I use it on the old one on the old bottling system but basically all I did was take a super duper small drill bit and slowly drilled a small hole in this rubber stopper and inserted a basketball needle. As you can see, my camera doesn't do close ups very well, so hopefully you can see that. Um, and what that allows me to do, <clears throat> instead of having to sit and squeeze on this stopper, I can pretty much just hold my finger over this hole right here. And as pressure builds up, I can just, you know, do this, this type deal. And that relieves the pressure and, and allows the beer to continue filling up the bottle until it's done. I can turn off the faucet and uh, take it out and have a nice bottle of beer. So I got a couple of bottles in the freezer. Uh, of course, it works best if your bottles have been in the freezer for 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever. So I've got a 22 ounce bomber in there and uh, and just a normal 12 ounce and we'll see how they do. So I'm going to get this stuff, I'm going to get this hose on this insert and uh, get this stuff sanitized a little bit and uh, try to bottle a couple of bottles and, and video it and see how it turns out. And we'll see how this bad boy works. All right. Uh, I 
my tap water wasn't hot enough so I had to boil a little bit of water and got the tubing slid up onto the insert there it works very well it's a good tight connection and uh, the instructions recommend to put a very very thin layer of keg lube on the o-rings there which I have done and uh, so it's sanitized and ready to go I'm not really worried too much about uh, everything's really clean but I'm not like storing these bottles forever these are just this is pretty much a test and like I say for a friend so I've got a couple of bottles that's been in the freezer for a little bit here's a couple of caps and there's my old Red Baron Kepper and uh, this is the pan I use to uh, condition my grains in so that's what I'm gonna set the bottles in and uh, I'm gonna set the camera up here on this table beside of this and try to get this uh, on video and we'll see how this new little bad boy works hopefully you can see all this the way I've got the camera set up I'm gonna grab my bottle out of the freezer here uh, of course having the bottle cold makes a little bit of difference in foaming issues uh, we'll see what kind of foaming issues we have according to the instructions like I say I have put some uh, keg lube around these o-rings just very light film uh, insert this thing into the perlite faucet and rock it kind of back and forth so you don't uh, take the o-rings out of the grooves that he's made and push it up until it stops which is right there um, what I'm going to do is take my glass where I've got a little bit of beer drinking on and I'm just going to take some pressure off the faucet where it's set a few minutes and also fill the the lines and chill the uh, the bottling wand here a little bit just a little touch there uh, according to the instructions, this thing is made to work, I don't remember the exact numbers, uh, anywhere from 8 to 15 pounds, which is normal serving pressures. Uh, I serve at like 10, 11, 12 usually around in there, most time about 10 or 11. So hopefully this won't be popping off. But uh, basically just going to insert the, the wand down in the bottle. Uh, i got the stopper pushed down in there, and I'm going to put my finger over the needle. Uh, you know the needle you would put on your uh, pump to basket uh, your pump to uh, pump up basketballs and such that I showed you earlier. Hold my finger on there and uh, let her rip. Uh, looking good so far. Right off the bat, it filled up about half the bottle. And I'm just going to lightly take my finger off the uh, little needle there, and you can see her coming up it's not foaming up much at all which is a good sign just gonna let it go up slowly and wow I'm loving this already it's gonna be a great great product and I'm gonna go to the bottom of the uh, set the camera back down Oops. kill the faucet uh, bottle to the bottom of the uh, Fill to the bottom of the stopper, which I probably could have stopped just a little bit earlier. Just a little bit of foam there coming out. And looks like we got a winner. I'm going to take and uh, I hope I got this where you can see it. I'm going to pop it just once here just to get some little bit of foam coming out the top. I've probably just done too much right there. But I like to cap on top of foam. Let me go grab a cap. I actually had uh, forgot to bring my cap in here. Put the cap on there. Got the old Red Baron Kepper, and uh, let's see what we got here. And there you have it. The, uh, as it's called, the Bowie Bottler Adapter. And that bad boy looks like it filled right to the top. And I probably could have let off a little, but man, that's that's great that's an awesome product Bowie fan uh, and, and the other guy that made the wand I-R-R-E-N-A-R-Z-T I can't pronounce your, your username yeah, I don't think it gets much simpler than that guys and gals um, before I had uh, like I say I had to go through all that with, with this contraption uh, I won't be using that anymore uh, done with that and I'll disassemble that and use it for something else but this is a great product. Uh, definitely be able to bottle whatever I need to. 
and people that bottle all do you know bottle a lot from their kegs you'll love this so I know quite a people quite a few people have have these ordered and uh, from look you know keeping a check on the forms there's been a lot of these made so hopefully you guys will enjoy this as much as as I am enjoying it already with my first bottled beer using the buoy bottler adapter and uh, the other guys bottling wand and like I say, it's a great product. Appreciate it, guys. And questions, comments, as always, feel free to throw them at me.